passionate about farming because I grew up on a dairy farm and my parents still dairy farm. It's very rewarding to hear that our farmers are having success with their calves after installing their ventilation systems. It's exciting being on the team at Crystal Creek because every day we're out there helping farmers and it's so rewarding to be able to see the positive impacts we can make with these ventilation systems. That's what gets me fired up to get out of bed every day is there's nothing that gives me greater professional satisfaction than having a farmer call me and say, you really helped improve the health of our calves. It's really, really rewarding for us. A lot of why calf barns are being built is the population of farmers are aging. They're my parents' age commonly in their mid-60s. And I was out on a farm one time and the wife looked at her husband and said, honey, here's the deal. I have fed your calves in outdoor hutches for 40 years. I don't want to be out in the cold anymore. Build me a barn or get a younger wife. But I'm telling you, it would be cheaper if you built me a barn. We laugh about that, but I really think that is a large driver. A, a, a primary reason why calf barns are being built today is uh, for feeder comfort. I think every farmer's experience would suggest that calves are healthier in out outdoor hutches, and certainly uh, research supports that as well. Calf hutches provide wonderful housing. In fact, it's the lowest rates of pneumonia in any housing style, but the feeders don't like feeding in them. Across our industry, when you compare even the most modernly ventilated calf farms, they are still generally experiencing higher respiratory disease rates compared to their hutch race counterparts. And the question has to be asked, why is that? And when you really drill down on it, it doesn't actually even make sense that hutch calves are healthier because they're, they're exposed to colder temperatures in the winter or mucky conditions in the spring. They're exposed to more heat stress in the summer, but yet they're healthier. When they step out of that hutch, they have an unlimited volume of fresh air to breathe. And we just believe that as an industry, we've been underventilating calf barns for decades. Instead of looking to a dusty old textbook that was written in the 60s with design parameters on how are we gonna ventilate barns, why don't we just look to what we know works? And those are hutch calves. Sometimes people say things like, I understand I need ventilation in the winter, but I don't want too much air. They'll say, I don't want too much air, okay? The question we ask is, what is too much air? You look at a calf outside, it is surrounded by an infinite volume of fresh air to breathe. Is that too much air? Has any dairy farmer in the history of dairy farming woken up in a January morning and said, we have got to run outside and cover all these calves and hutches up with a tarp. My goodness, they have too much fresh air to breathe. No one's ever done that. How could you have too much volume? I think what our industry really means is to separate volume and speed. The problem when it's cold out is speed. Calves cannot withstand a draft when it's cold. Volume and speed, two very, very different things. If it's not drafty on the calf, can a calf have too much fresh air to breathe? And we argue no. The foundational research done in 2006 by Dr. Nordland and his team at the University of Wisconsin Vet School looked at positive pressure tube ventilation with four air exchanges per hour, and they saw a dramatic reduction in respiratory disease when they went to that four time an hour exchange rate. The question we have is, what happens if you did six air exchanges or eight or 10 or 12? There's no research after four air exchanges per hour. What exists over here is a giant question mark. We have farms that are doing six, eight, and even 10 barn volume changes an hour in the dead of winter. We are seeing steadily decreasing pneumonia rates. But the key is having a system that can provide that level of air exchange in a safe, non-drafty manner. When we talk about ventilating barns with eight or 10 volume changes an hour in the winter, that can be scary to some people because they're worried about their calves being cold. Calves in outdoor hutches in the winter are experiencing cold temperatures too. It's not so much about keeping the barn warm, it's more about keeping the calf warm. And we keep calves warm in cold environments by doing really good bedding with long stem lofty straw so they can nestle into it and stay warm. Of course, using calf jackets and feeding a lot of calories. So all of a sudden the idea of bringing in cold fresh air from outside isn't such a problem for calves because we're keeping them warm and we're ventilating the calf space 
in a manner that's not drafty. Crystal Creek saw that calf raisers needed a better ventilation solution, and it was really our passion to help them that led to the flip duct and the flap duct. The multi-season ventilation system through Crystal Creek addresses many of the limitations found with the conventional positive pressure system. One of our main design principles is separating air speed and air volume. It's okay to provide high volumes of fresh air to calves, even during cold temperatures, as long as we control the air speed. And that's one of the hallmark principles of our ventilation systems. In the winter, we punch multiple small holes all along the length of the bag. As air exits a small diameter hole, it has a wispy, thin little jet of air that as it travels to the calf, it lacks momentum and it loses its speed as it travels to the calf and it lands at the calf level in a very, very soft, non-drafty manner. When you look at summer designs, they utilize much larger diameter holes. The larger the hole diameter, the more mass is discharged and that air jet becomes stronger, more robust, and is able to carry much stronger air speeds down to the calf. It's the size of the hole in the bag that determines the speed of air that hits the calf. And if we had a ventilation system that could quickly and easily change the size of the holes, we could easily change the speed of air that hits the calf. That's when we came up with the concept of using a positive pressure bag with an internal membrane that can open and close different size holes to change the speed and volume coming out of the bag. The development of the flip duct and the flap duct ventilation system occurred over many, many months. The first multi-season ventilation system we came out with was the flip duct. We had winter ventilation, summer ventilation, and we could change in between the seasons when we needed different ventilation rates. Our first test farms were in Wisconsin, Ohio, Iowa, and Manitoba. We wanted to use environments where we could test the performance of this in all four seasons. The initial feedback that we got was overwhelmingly positive, but one of the issues was we had to rotate the bag to select the seasonally appropriate hole pattern. And the feedback from our customers in the field was the rotation is fine, but it can be cumbersome. So we went back to the drawing boards with our team, pulled the team together and said, how can we make this better? And that's when we came up with the flap duct. The first design of the flap duct had a manual lever. So we took that to the market and our customers said, nice advancements from the flip duct. It'd be nice if you could automate that lever. So we took our team back to the drawing board again and said, okay, how can we automate this? Listening to the customer is what keeps driving our company forward. It's our desire to serve them and give them the tools that they need and we have to listen to them to make sure we're meeting what they want from us. Designing the tube is a fun part of the process because each farm is unique and different in their own way. Because of that, each tube has to fit their unique needs and we enjoy designing each tube to fit that farm. And that itself is a challenge when designing our ventilation systems. Our approach is different because we focus on volume of fresh air to the calf at the calf level. We believe that there's no such thing as too much fresh air. These Crystal Creek ventilation systems outperform our competitors in the marketplace with the precision that they provide. We're able to ventilate for different seasons throughout the year and it's that versatility that's just unparalleled in other ventilation systems. We pair with the highest quality manufacturers because for us, it's about making the best quality system available. They bring in the best design standards, the best equipment, material, sewing practices, hardware. These tubes are built to last. We are not trying to sell this system as the cheapest system on the market. We are looking for that calf raiser that understands the difference between an investment and an expense. A Crystal Creek ventilation system is making an investment in the health of your calves. We know more now than ever how important calf health is and how big of an effect it has on the cow's production as she gets older. 
um, and we know that it's worth the investment in making sure that your calves are healthy because that's not something you can get back. That's going to be what's setting the stage for their entire production for the rest of their life. I would like to continue the conversation about using more air in cold weather ventilation and having more of a focus on speed. When it comes to summer ventilation, I think we need to get our air speeds up. Things two, three, four, five miles an hour on these calves to provide summer heat abatement. I just think we need to challenge the status quo on ventilation design parameters and where they sit now. Our philosophy is to create an indoor environment that is as close to mimicking the high quality fresh air that a calf has to breathe in an outdoor hutch. Farmers should consider investing in the Crystal Creek ventilation system because healthy calves turn into healthy cows and our ventilation system gives them the tools to be able to do that. We have the team, the technology, and the passion to bring solutions to your calf barn. We believe in providing the best quality ventilation systems and investing in the health of your calves. If you believe what we believe, please contact Crystal Creek.